This is a pack of motion presets. It works with Animation Composer, our awesome free plugin for Adobe After Effects. And it might be the most handy and useful tool you'll ever have. Let's take a look at what you can do with it. First, I select a layer. Then I select a preset and apply it to the beginning of that layer. I can remove it and apply another. I can edit the animation properties. In this case, the number of bounces. Now let's add another preset. This time, to the end of the layer. And this is how it looks. I can change the duration just like that. And I can easily shift the transition. These presets work with any layers. You can use them with text or shapes. I'll copy the presets on this layer, select these two layers, and paste the presets. Easy peasy. Here's another reason why these presets are so great. They are non-destructive. This is the layer from a previous example. It's animated with motion presets. And this layer is animated with keyframes. Now check this out. If I move this layer and rescale it, it works. No problem. But if I move this layer and rescale it, you can already see the problem. It adds the keyframes and messes up the animation. The presets allow for much greater flexibility than the use of keyframes. This bar chart is a great example. It has already been animated using a scaling preset. But here's the cool part. I can rescale the layers. And it still works. You can use it to create titles. All the layers are animated using the motion presets. Here's an example of a lower third. I'll solo this layer to show you how it works. The in transition animates this position, like this. And the out transition animates this position, like this. You can freely move it around and the animation will not break apart. And having all these layers selected, I can easily shift the out transitions. Now when I preview, check out how the layers float around. Here's what I mean. Watch the triangle. This is made using an effect preset. I'll reveal it in the list and let's see how it works. Effect presets animate the layer over time. There's stuff like jumping or a wiggle. I'll select this preset and apply it to the layer. And this is how it looks. I'll change the intensity to modify the overall strength of the effect. And I'll decrease the frequency on Y axis. You can set when the effect should start by adding a start marker. Now nothing happens before the marker. And layer starts moving after the marker. You can also change the duration of the transition. And you can add the end marker the same way. This example shows how easy it is to animate multiple layers. Let's recreate it. I'll select the layers, remove the presets, and align the layers. Let's add the scaling preset. I can add it to all the layers at once. I can shift the transition to the right. And I can also stagger them. I can stagger by one frame by clicking on the arrows. Or by dragging the number. I can also align the transitions with one click.
even if you have really a lot of layers. It's still easy. Let's animate this. I'll select all layers and add in transition. Then I select stagger and stagger the layers by one frame. Now, if we preview this, it feels like it's too long. So I select the second row and shift the transitions by 10 frames to the left. Then I select the second row and shift them by 20 frames to the left. So now it looks like this. Let's change the anchor point so the icons animate from the bottom. I'll select the layers. Open Anchor Point Mover Tool. And let's move the anchor points to the bottom. Done. Now it looks like they are growing from their feet. It looks better. Let's now add some out transition. Maybe just a simple fade out. Great. And let's move the out transitions here. I'll just click a line to the playhead. And that's it. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? You can also create some great text animations. Here's an example. As you look through the layers in the timeline, you can see that everything is animated using the motion presets. It's the same workflow. Select a layer and apply a preset. Here's the same composition again. I've just added a camera, animated it using a few keyframes, made all layers 3D with just one click. And this is the result. So as you can see, it can even be used for 3D animation. And there are many 3D motion presets too. These are especially great for text. And what I love the most, when I'm working on a video, I never know what exactly I need. This way, I can very quickly try different things and see what looks best. People who purchased it love it. This tool could not be more awesome. Get it and you won't regret it, guaranteed.